Fixers, hi YouTube. Hope you guys are having a great week. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys some of these super affordable swim pieces that I picked up from Shein, plus some do's and don'ts when it comes to shopping affordable swimwear. Before we get into the video, I just want to thank Shein for partnering with me on this video. I have five more pieces to share with you guys. I don't think any of these were more than $12. So that's very, very affordable. And I find that plus size swimwear tends to be a little bit more expensive. Like, you know, you can't pop into your local Forever 21 and pick up like a string bikini for like $2 a top and $3 a bottom. Like you really don't have those options typically when you're plus. Especially when I don't want to name a store that be selling their swim swimsuits for like over $100 for plus. So first I'm going to share with you the ones that didn't work for me. And then I'm going to talk about why they didn't work and things to look out for when shopping affordable pieces. Then I'm going to share with you the ones that did. So... The first item that I picked up that I was really, really sad about because I really liked was this brown piece. It's like a brown, almost like a cinnamony color. And we know like nude and nude. So like earthy tones are really interesting. So when I saw this, I was super excited for it. So here you go. It's, it fits kind of like a sports bra type, but then it has like a little um, bow in the center. So one of the reasons why I picked this swim piece, and I believe I got everything in a 3X, one of the reasons why I picked this up was because I thought it was adjustable. So when you look at it on the site, it looks like this bow, you can just untie this top and tie it tighter or looser. Now, I I have more of a pear shape, so I'm wider around my hips and smaller up top, which means anytime when I'm buying a swimsuit, that is always on my mind. I always have to size up so it can fit my hips and butt, but then I always usually run into the issue of having the top part be super loose. Um, and unfortunately, unless you're willing to buy two bathing suits, um, which you could for the price, honestly, you know, you <laughs> really don't have any options. So when I saw that this was adjustable, I went for it because I was like, okay, I can tie the top tighter to make it fit my body. Now, I have a love and hate relationship when it comes to swim, <laughs> to affordable swimwear. I find that they always lack some certain things, right? They lack some certain things for grown-ups like myself. Now, if you were like under 22, Everything probably is still where it was Jesus Christ put it, but if you're over that age or if you've had children, chances are that things have moved around, right? So you need support in order to, you know, make it seem like the things are where they're, they're supposed to be, okay? Originally, all right? And so, you know, there's no shame in needing a little support. We all need support, you know? Um, so let me just tell you right now, I don't know about any other swimsuit because there are a bunch of them that look like this. Um, this one, you cannot do that. And the reason why is because this is a piece of fabric. I don't know if you guys can see that is tied around the swimsuit. So it's actually one solid piece. And then they tied this piece, um, around it to make it look like a bow. Okay, and I, actually, this is not even sewn on, so I could loosen this if I wanted. Um, it also comes with bottoms that I was hoping was like kind of like the high-legged, high-waist version. But on my body, it's not high-waisted enough to, because I had a baby and I have stretch marks. So the two tips I want you to take away from that swimsuit or two things that I thought about when I was purchasing that is one, is it going to be adjustable so I can kind of customize it to my body? And two, is this style going to be supportive? Now, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name's Chi Chi, and this is my channel. What you can expect from this channel are hauls, lookbooks, styling videos, trend guides, and lifestyle content like vlogs. So if that sounds like something you're into, then please do not hesitate, okay, to, to subscribe down below. It's a red button. Just click on it. And if you already subscribed, I'm so glad to have you back. So the second item that was kind of like a fail, 
actually not kind of was a fail was this swimsuit so there are a ton of these marble print suits on the website so if you like marble print you will get your life on this website I have the swimsuit um fabric on the front and they're lined on the inside this is fully lined on the inside I didn't have a single issue with the construction. There's not a single thread. Well, maybe one or two stray threads. Um, it's funny because I feel like I would have liked the style of this suit more on like a different print because it has like this frill here. And when I think about like this sort of like marble print, I think of something a little bit more modern, but it has like these crochet eyelets here. If you guys can see and it also has it around the waist here um it has those annoying little cuppy thingies that they put in their suits and then the back is kind of like a crisscross situation now on paper this would have given me a lot of support because the back allows you to kind of like diy it but um i just didn't love the front like i just wanted a lot more support like if i had smaller boobs that you know the kind of boobs that kind of like stick this would have been a great bathing suit but because of the kind of boobs i have which tend to be wider and it just to me i just didn't feel i wouldn't feel the most confident in in this suit like on paper when i see these like deep v suits they're really flattering especially if you're more of like a pear shape that's also in the 3x and again i kind of ran into the issue of the bottom fitting me perfect and the top running a little big for me um i also you know had an issue with the straps not being thick enough tip here another tip here will be look at the straps right that's why the other bathing suit if i had to choose between both of them would be my first pick because the straps are really thick so they won't dig in your skin um versus something like this which could get lost okay depending on like what your body type is so now let me share like what i loved and what worked now I have to be quite honest, I didn't love any swimsuit in this haul, but these three I kind of liked, and I'll tell you why. So the first suit that worked for me is going to be this, I guess this is like a burgundy gingham print. It has these ties on the front. Now when I saw it on the website, I didn't know that these ties were adjustable. When I received the suit, these ties were not tied at all. So I tied them myself and I tied them extremely tight so that they could fit. If this suit had like one I had a tie in the back this suit would have been perfect for me because then I would have been able to cup my boobs um doesn't have that feature it has the low back feature which is kind of cute it's it has enough fabric for me anyway for it to cover all my rolls and things like that so it's I don't hate this but I also don't love the fact that it doesn't if I'm on to be quite honest if a swimsuit does not have underwire it's just not my friend I don't it's just not my friend I mean I could wear it but it's not my friend so again these are some of the trade-offs you know what you make when you buy a more affordable suit um, I'm not knocking these these are great okay but I'm just telling you if you want more support you're gonna have to spend a little bit more coin but if you want something affordable these are great the next suit again so what happened to me there was like a time where i could not be caught in a one piece and now i'm team one piece like i'm so team one piece okay um it's kind of crazy second suit that i really liked is this one piece suit again why this worked is because it has thicker straps as well and when i, I noticed that with one piece the disproportionate or the is it disproportionate yeah the issues with like the proportion of my hips to my bust tend to be less they tend to be less of an issue with a one piece for whatever reason i don't know why so i think that's why i like them so much so bear that in mind also if you kind of fall within my category love the colors it's a one piece it's fun it has this little neon could i wear these i was trying to see if i could wear these earrings with it probably not 
but I love like the blue and the black and the neon and the pop of red. So you could do a lot with this. It's a fun swimsuit. Actually, something like this you could probably even wear like as a bodysuit with shorts, you know, on vacation and, and take it off when you get to the to the pool. Now the last suit that okay. <laughs> the last suit that made it is a two-piece. I was able to make one of the two pieces work for my body type and it is this two piece again why because this has thicker straps as I've shown you but the top was big for me so my workaround for that was to make this knot in the back to kind of take up some of the fabric this has um this lace up detail right here. It has the same sort of like cups in here. Um, and it's just like a sports bar type silhouette. Again, if you um, have bigger boobs, this is like the best silhouette for you. Um, it still is a little bit big for me, but I can deal with it. Now, what I fell in love with here was the bottoms. The bottoms fit me like a glove sis like they fit me so good and I love the fact that they have this sharing or ruching detail here because it's so flattering if you have a tummy like so flattering it's also lined on the inside as well this one is also lined in the inside as well so you know it has all of the trimmings and the trappings of a great suit overall if I had to rate these swimsuits, I would give them about a 7 out of 10. Why am I giving them a 7 out of 10 even after complaining so much about support? One, because they, for the price point, I give them a 7 out of 10 because they have a lot of styles on the website. The price point is really good. The quality and the workmanship is great as well. You really cannot beat that so i will link all of these suits down below and i may add a few other pics as well if you like this video and you want to watch more hauls i have links to my playlist down below i just did a haul where i shared all of my wonderful finds um i also have styling videos which i got really great feedback on question of the day what is the most money you've spent on a swimsuit if you like this video make sure to share it with a friend um and yeah hit the like button that's the only way i know that you like these videos and you want me to make more and don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed just the 20s when they did the silky dresses but it is this gorgeous ruffled 